Hey everyone, today I brought amazing news for video generation. There's a new way to generate videos called the frame pack, which is a total game changer. You might be wondering if this is a new video model that was released recently, but this isn't a new video model to be exact, it's a new system to generate videos. Traditional video models generate content in a way that as video length increases, most models need to process all previous frames, leading to more memory and computation requirements, so it takes a very long time to generate a long video. However, FramePack makes it possible so that generating the thousandth frame takes the same resources as generating the tenth frame. The workload remains constant no matter how long the video becomes. It essentially predicts the next frame without depending on processing all previous frames. Also, previously it took about 24GB of memory for running a 13 billion parameter models, but FramePack compresses context and dramatically reduces memory requirements, so it allows running 13 billion parameter models like Hunyuan Video Model on consumer-grade laptop GPU with, with just 6GB of VRAM, something previously impossible. Even though running it will be slow with FramePack, it was essentially impossible to run it with 6GB of VRAM. FramePack also generates video progressively and it provides immediate feedback, making it very transparent and allows users to stop the generation if they don't like the direction it's taking. On the GitHub repo, there's a one-click installation for Windows so you can download the zip folder there and uncompress it. Once you do that, you want to click update.bad, then click run.bad to run the UI. For me, I couldn't wait until the author released this one-click installer on April 18th, so I installed everything manually the day before to test it out. Once you start run, you will be able to view the UI on port 7860, so you can type localhost 7860 to view the UI to run the model. The first time you execute run.bad, you will probably need to wait quite a bit to download the 30GB model. Once I checked what model it downloaded, I realized it's the Hunyuan video model, so it's, so it's using the Hunyuan model as a base model to generate the video. On the UI, you'll see the place that will allow you to upload an image, the section where you can put in your prompt for the image to video process, and below the checkbox to use Tcash or not. If you've seen my previous video on how to make generations faster for Flux, Tcash essentially skips the generation of a certain step when the previous inference is similar to a certain value, so it makes the generation faster, but the quality of the result decreases. You can see the difference this makes when you use Tcash or not on these two videos. So you're recommended to use Tcash for faster generation to test it out first and tick it off when you click the generation and want the best quality. For now, I'm going to have it on. Below there's a seed value section and you can also control the total video length on here and the default is set to 5 seconds. Finally, there's a steps and CFG value that you can modify but it's recommended to leave it on as the same value. The GPU inference preserved memory setting is about how much GPU memory the system will reserve for processing. You should only increase this value if you're experiencing out of memory errors. If your system is running fine, you should keep this value as low as possible for faster performance. I'm gonna go to port 7860 and paste the URL on the browser. You'll be able to upload an image of your choice. I'm going to upload the image of this girl with a denim jacket and I'm going to be choosing one of the default prompts and generate. It takes me about 3.7 seconds per iteration on my NVIDIA 3090 GPU with Tcash and the author on the repo says it took him about 1.5 seconds per iteration for a 4090 which is really making me want a new GPU. So that means for a 4090 it should take about 3 minutes to generate a 5 second video at 30 FPS for a Hunyuan video model because there are 25 steps for each second of the video. Once the generation completes, the final video will be under the output folder in your directory and you'll see the image of the original input and you will also have an mp4 file up to each second. So the last one in this list will be the final video it generated and you can say the result of the video is really good even though I had Tcash on. I'm also going to be testing out some other videos. I created an image to video of Mona Lisa streaming. and a 10 seconds cat video with the prompt, the cat is walking to the right, and the final video is really mind blowing. And just the fact that I can generate 10 seconds video this quick is really good. I also generated this plane slowly flying away in the sky. 
and I'll be testing some more on my own to create more videos like this. Well, this was a brief introduction to Framepack and I hope you guys will be able to test it out as well. There's a new comfy UI wrapper for Framepack being worked on in this repo, which is a work in progress. So I'll be checking this out as well soon.